One of two people have asked how to do a vertical menu in Bootstrap Studio. So what we're going to do in this short video, or at least I hope it's a short video, is just create new design. Go to blank, name it wherever you want. I'll just put the vertical menu. And uh, that's in the blank. So while it opens. So here's the uh, default of all this. And um, if you've seen the other videos, I have done a one on about uh, the menu, but that's just the horizontal one. So we we'll start off the same way, and that is navbar. So there we have that, and here we have in our um, CSS um, editor down there. This is a while since I've used this program actually. So what we do is uh, we just click on that, go to um, create style. So that's there. And we're just going to put in width, and uh, we're going to say maybe 15%. Uh, no, I'll not say that because that's my zoom uh, thing on there. So I'll just put that in as, say, 17%, something like that. Anyway, so as you can see, there it's all moved over. So the, the horizontal menu has now become um, a vertical menu. So what we do there is you can keep adding um, nav items from the left there, if you can see that. So we just drag them over if we wanted to do that. Or we just duplicate these um, by just going, uh, no, it's not right click. Uh, duh, 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 uh, as I say, it's a while since I've, I've done this. This is how you do it there. Duplicate there, if you can see that. There, just on there. So you just go duplicates down like that, and then you edit them uh, one by one. So for example, you just go edit, and you just put in maybe say homepage, and, uh, and the URL for that here on the right hand side would be index, oops, index dot html, and uh, that's basically it for that. And then if you come over the second item, just the same, edit it, and we see maybe something like services. And again, you just go over to the right uh, side of the the screen or the, the program where the URL is, and you put in whatever you want. Let's say, for example, services.html, and you just do that for all your... Um, items and uh, and that so basically the what you do is you just uh, do the width um, of the nav bar and that, that does it the other things is basically what I've discussed in other videos and how you would uh, change the um, hold on a minute I'll just go in there if you want uh, different colors and things like that you can just do them by that, what I've just what I've just done there in the CSS editor or smart editor as they're called, and uh, basically if you want th the themes at the top here, and you just uh, put in it's already in Bootstrap itself. So what you do is you just uh, go to wherever you want. Uh, I don't I don't really know what the themes do, apart from I know they change the color. So for example, there's blue. Um, that looks quite nice. Um, what else have we got? And uh, something like superhero. And there's a different color. It's tiny writing, but of course, again, you could change um, change that for uh, font size. You could do that as maybe uh, one point three m. And there you go. So it's it's enlarged now, or you could do that maybe a little bit a bit uh, bigger than that, 1.6m. And there you go. So basically, it's all about the width, and you just put that down to something like 20%. Uh, downwards, really, 20%, 15 to 20% is about what I would do it. And uh, all the other things, um, well, that's, that's basically how you do it, and then you can work around it. So I hope you find that uh, helpful. So thanks for watching and thanks for listening.